Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 20th to the 26th of June. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Sagittarius, your biggest challenge here for this coming week is the two of wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, so Sagittarius, your biggest challenge here is the two of wands. I am seeing the biggest challenge for you. I'm getting two, two messages here with the two of wands. There's something here about you needing to make a decision about the direction of your life. Okay, what direction you're taking, what's your plan, how you're going to move forward. It's almost like you're at a starting place. It's like you're at a you're at the start of something here and a decision has to be made about that. For others of you, this is about a separation. You want answers. Are we going to get back together? Are we going to move forward? Are we going to remain in separation? Is this going to, you know, are we going to do this? Are we not going to do this? So this is about the direction of your life and what, um, how you see your life moving forward. Okay. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now in the recent past, you have the strength, the moon and the three of pentacles. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting that there was a very strong desire here to work things out with someone. Okay. It's like, let's sit down, let's cooperate. Let's make this happen. You put all your energy into making this happen. I do feel that there was a very, very strong emotional connection here in the past with the moon. There may have even been some sort of secrets or an inability to really express how one felt here in the past. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now in the present moment, you have the knight of pentacles, the world and the five of cups. I am getting for many of you something here in the present moment has ended. There was either a breakup, disconnect. Somebody here has been very much focused on the negative aspects of the connection. I do feel for some of you that may be coming to an end. So if there has been issues between you and this person that may be coming to an end, it looks like an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe a Leo, Scorpio, Tor um, I did say Taurus, maybe, um, a water sign cancer. This person may be coming towards you. They may be coming towards you slowly. I am also getting for you an Aquarius as well too. So there's something here that's transforming and changing and coming to an end, which is allowing this energy to come in towards you. Okay. And we're going to find out what this is all about for you in a moment. Now in the near future, you have the 10 of pentacles, the chariot and the page of wands. Wow. So in the near future, it looks like you're deciding to move forward and it looks like you're moving forward towards a long-term commitment. This is a very serious long-term commitment that's showing up for you. And again, this may have a lot to do with someone here that you ended things with or disconnected from. Uh, we're going to find out and see. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups here in reverse. I do feel there has been a falling out between you and a specific person emotionally. Someone here has emotionally been on and off with you. And it looks like that, again, is changing. Uh, again, Air Sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer is strong here. So someone here who has withdrawn from you may decide to become open to you here is what I'm saying, um, what I'm saying, what I'm seeing. We're going to clarify and see. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify your challenge. So the two of wands is clarified by the two of two of wands again, the four of pentacles and the queen of uh, wands. Here you are. 
So part of your challenge is about making a decision when it comes to a specific person. Some of you are in separation from this person. You are waiting for this person to come back or you're waiting to make some sort of decision on the direction that this relationship is going to take. Your biggest challenge here is to determine whether or not this is someone that you still want to hold on to. Okay. This is someone here who you've been in separation with for quite some time. Now for others of you, this is about the direction that your life is taking. What direction is your life taking and what is it that you need to let go of in order to make these dreams a reality okay so this is your biggest challenge now let's talk about the recent past let's clarify the moon So the moon is clarified by the world, the lovers and the page of cups. So in the recent past, I do feel there was a possible ending between you and this person. But again, you tried very hard not to bring the situation to an end. I do see an apology here, a confession being made here. And that really allowed you and this person to really sit down and work things out in the past. And like I said, there was a very strong connection here in the past with the lovers being here. But something here was very close to coming to an end in the past. Okay, but I feel like you work things out or tried to work things out in the past. Now, in the present moment, I do see something here is coming to an end. I don't see that this situation that's coming to an end is a bad thing. I think it's a good thing for you with the Five of Cups here. What's the important message here for Sagittarius in the present moment with the Five of Cups? So the five of cups is clarified by the two of cups, the eight of swords and the death. So in the present moment, I do feel like uh, your relationship is transforming. It is changing. There has been this energy of isolation or a disconnect in the present moment. But again, like I said, that is coming to an end. Something here is transforming and changing and you've accepted that. You're realizing that there's certain aspects within your relationship, that's, uh, your relationship that's changing. Tell me here what is coming to an end for Sagittarius? What is closing out? There's definitely something here that's closing out for you and, and like I said I don't feel like it's a bad thing I feel like it's a very good thing because there's something here that's been going on for quite some time and you've wanted to release yourself from this Sagittarius you have the judgment in reverse here with the moon in reverse okay tell me more so the world is clarified by the hermit the justice and the page of wands you're moving forward this is all about your new beginning. Page of Wands is very strong here, which is telling me in the present moment, something here is finally coming back into balance. So if there's been conflicts, issues, drama, if there's been um, trust issues, anything that you can imagine that's been negative for you, that's all coming to an end. There's something here in the present moment, Sagittarius, about you needing to meditate. Okay, so I don't know if you do that, uh, but there's something here about you spending time on your own, grounding yourself, meditating. That's also going to bring something here back into balance within you because it's not necessarily about you and someone else for some of you it is about you and someone else but for others of you this is about you getting back to this place of having and finding balance within yourself to be able to correctly manifest a brand new beginning because page of wands is about planning right it's about oh okay yeah i know i'm moving into a new direction i know that i have a, a new um path that i'm going on but I also need to be prepared to be on that path. And this is why right now something here is not moving as quick as you want it to. It could be an offer of love, an opportunity here. It You have to be in alignment with whatever it is you're attracting. And this is what a lot of you are learning right now, especially because something here that's been very toxic or difficult for you to, to bring to an end is finally coming to an end. Tell me more about this offer that's coming in for Sagittarius in the present moment. Now, one of the things that I did mention to the other fire signs, Leo and Aries, right now Jupiter is in Aries. So that means that you are in a place of being very lucky. You need to be um, aware of that, right? You need to be aware of Jupiter being in Aries, which is trining your sun, your moon, or your rising. So now is the time. So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Tower, the Sun, and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here in the present moment is determined to rebuild the relationship with you. Again, it could be a Leo. I'm getting a Scorpio here, maybe an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This person's really determined to work things out with you. They know how important this relationship is to both you and them. So this is about you and this person working through the issues. And that's what I see you doing. Now, in the near future, beautiful, beautiful combination of cards for you. You have the chariot here. This is all about you finally moving forward into this new path, new direction. And some of you have already been planning to 
take action towards this new direction, here's where this is going to lead in the near future. It's going to lead to a long-term commitment. So hopefully you're ready for something long-term here. I see a windfall of money, especially when it comes to something here that you like doing. Some of you are artists or you're very creative. I see that coming in for you um, in the near future. Tell me more about this new beginning for Sagittarius with the Page of Wands. So the page of wands is clarified by the three of swords. You have the empress and the ten, the five of cups. So in the near future, you're putting something behind you. And I think one of the things that you're putting behind you is the pain, the trauma, the lies, the cheating, the deception, whatever happened in the past, you're recognizing that, you know, this is something that you need to let go of and release. Some of you are going to be pregnant in the near future, or I see somebody here around you getting pregnant. And that is kind of what gets you into this place of realizing, you know what, maybe I need to move into a new direction. Maybe I need to start planning it's like something here happens it, it it transforms you and it makes you realize Sagittarius holding on to negative emotions negative drama negative issues that are not allowing you to move forward all it's doing is holding you back you're going to start realizing that that's something that you need to let go of in order to be able to move forward okay and this new opportunity, um, by the way, I just want to mention this. Some of you, even if you're not getting pregnant or you don't have anyone around you that's getting pregnant, this is about you being pregnant with ideas. And these ideas that you're impregnated with in your mind can really lead to something here that can lead to a lot of money, okay? So I usually don't like talking about money in the readings because these are love readings, but when the money issue, not the money issue, but the money opportunities come up, I like to talk about them. So in the near future, there's an idea that you have in your mind and you've always wanted to do this. And now you have the opportunity to do it. You better, you better jump on this. You better jump on it because if you don't jump on it, you may miss an opportunity. Okay, this is why Jupiter is in Aries right now. And it's going to be up to you to decide if you are going to take advantage of this. Tell me more about this opportunity that is coming in for Sagittarius in the near future. So the 10 of pentacles is clarified by the queen of pentacles, the high priestess and the three of cups. You're going to be celebrating here in the near future with this person who's coming in to rebuild the, the connection with you. Some of you are going to be getting tarot readings in the near future, or you're going to get some sort of guidance, which is going to help you realize and recognize that there is something here to be happy about. There is something here to celebrate and it's going to be up to you, Sagittarius. You can have that opportunity there. You can have the opportunity to have this new beginning, but if you don't act on it, the only person you can blame is yourself. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing here in the near future. Now let's get some advice for you. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Okay, so your biggest piece of advice here, Sagittarius, is the hangman. You have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So your biggest piece of advice here is to recognize why some sort of situation in your relationship is not moving forward. Is there something in this relationship that you can look at from a different perspective? The more you're open-minded about your relationship, the more you're going to be open-minded to really connecting with why certain things are happening the way that they're happening. This is about you not necessarily taking action in your relationships, but really analyzing and looking at your relationships for what they are. Is this a relationship you see yourself being in? Is this a relationship you see yourself taking action towards? And if it's a relationship that you don't see yourself taking action towards, you need to ask yourself why. There's something in your relationship that's happening right now. And if you look at the situation from a different perspective, you will be able to reap the benefits and rewards from this connection. But if you're someone here who just rushes into things and you don't think about it, or you don't take the time to review and analyze things you know this is about you getting enlightened about your relationships because the more enlightened you are about your relationships the more there is an opportunity for you to recognize the opportunities that are within your relationships that are really going to get you to this next level which is really going to take you to this place of just being stagnant into this place of actually having this new beginning and realizing the goals that you have because there's something here Sagittarius about this person being a part of your life for a reason they're here to help you get to the next level okay you need to just be open to that all right so Sagittarius this is what I have for you I hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one bye